Good morning, fourth graders. It's Miss Ferguson. Today is Tuesday, May 5th, 2020. We are going to continue talking today about nonfiction text features. Specifically, we are talking about headings in a nonfiction text or article and how to use those headings to help us determine main idea. We worked with this yesterday, and this is the strategy that we will also be working with today, both in this YouTube lesson, and you'll be doing some independent practice from this lesson, as well as in your independent work packet. So before we get started with some review and some practice, let's remind ourselves that text features are things that are in nonfiction text that help us identify and analyze a text. Just like we as people have different features, those text features are visual cues that can help us as a reader identify what a text is about before we even read it. Nonfiction texts like this article and the articles that we are reading in our packets and on News ELA are often chunked into smaller sections that are divided using these headings. And the headings help us know what that particular section is about. Just like how the title gives us an idea of what the article is about, the heading is going to help us understand what that particular section is about. So you'll be practicing reading an article and then using the headings to tell what the main idea or what the section is mostly about. So we're going to start by reading this article together about motor racing. And then you're going to apply what you are doing by independently determining the main idea of two of the sections. So our learning target, again, is I can use headings to determine the main idea of a section of text. So let's get started. Start your engines, all about motor racing. You'll notice that that is the title of the article. Wave the green flag. Motor racing is a sport. Drivers race special cars. Motor racing is very popular. Many people watch it on television. There are many kinds of motor racing. Big cars race, small cars race, trucks race, carts race. Some races are long and some are short. You'll notice there's another nonfiction text feature, which is an illustration with a caption telling us that those are examples of stock cars. Stock car racing. Stock car racing is the most popular kind of motor racing in the United States. Stock cars race on oval tracks. They drive hundreds of laps before a winner crosses the finish line. Stock cars look like cars you might see on the road, but they are very different. Stock cars have only one seat. The seat is for the driver. Stock cars are also much faster than street cars. Some stock cars can drive as fast as 200 miles per hour which you might see abbreviated as M-E-H. Formula One racing. Formula One or F1 racing is another kind of motor racing. Just like in stock car races, F1 cars race around a track hundreds of times before a winner crosses the finish line. But these cars are even faster than stock cars. They can drive as fast as 220 miles per hour. F1 cars have open cockpits, which is the space around the car's driver. Formula One cars also look different. They have large wings on the front and back of the car. These wings aren't actually wings. In fact, they work the opposite of wings. They help keep the car on the ground instead of in the air. At high speeds, the wind pushes down on the wings. This helps keep the car from flipping. Drag racing. Drag racing is different from stock car in Formula One racing. Cars race in a straight line, not on an oval track. Any kind of car can race in a drag race. The fastest drag race is the top fuel race. These, are very, these cars are very fast. They can drive as fast as 330 miles per hour. They use a special kind of fuel. These cars are long and narrow. This helps them drive in a fast, straight line. Just before a drag race, drivers do a burnout. The driver spins the back wheels. 
The wheels spin so fast that the tires melt on the track. The melted tires help the car start fast when the race begins. Top fuel races are very loud. They are louder than a jet plane. People cover their ears as a top fuel car drives by. Top fuel races are also very short. Tracks are only 1,000 feet long. Races are over in four seconds. The checkered flag. Many people like to watch the different kinds of racing. They like to see cars drive fast. They like to watch drivers make turns and cross the finish line. After all, it's people who make the cars go round. You'll see again that we have another text feature, another illustration with a caption that tells us what the illustration is showing. And we also have a glossary. If you remember from what we've talked about before in class, a glossary is a nonfiction text feature that gives us different vocabulary words that are used in the article and defines them for us so that we can understand what they mean if we are not familiar with those words. So, to review, nonfiction text features like headings help organize the information in an article. This overall article is about motor racing, but there's different kinds of motor racing and different information. The author could have just written one big article, but it might be confusing going back and forth between the different types of information, like specifically about stock cars or specifically about Formula One. So in order to make it more organized and to help us as the reader, they used headings. You'll also notice that the headings are written in larger and bolder text than the rest of the article. And that helps us know that that is specifically a heading and not just a part of the text. Sometimes you'll see them in bold, so darker and thicker letters. Sometimes they are italicized. Sometimes they're just written in a larger font. What you are going to do today is reread this article. So you'll go back and you can listen to me reread the article to you by rewinding your video, then you are going to answer these two questions independently. You don't have to print out this particular paper, you just need to write this on a separate sheet, and this is what you will send to me. So the section drag racing is mostly about, and then I want you to give me the main idea of that particular section. Then I want you to give me the main idea of the checkered flag section. So remember, we're talking about the main idea of that particular section under that heading. There's a main idea of the whole article, but these are ways for us to practice finding the main idea of a section using that heading. So keep in mind that using headings is a tool to help us as a reader. It narrows down what that section is about. Of course, we still have to read it to understand what the main idea is, but we are able to go into reading it knowing more of what the section is about than we did before. So your independent assignment today is to, of course, watch this video. You need to answer these two questions and then submit the way you normally do, either via an email or a picture message. You need to log on to News ELA and do your daily article on the website. And then you need to do your packet work for today, which is also a News ELA article. It is labeled with the date. And you are going to practice using headings to determine main idea of that article in its headings. Have a great day, girls, and I will talk to you soon.